obviously we've all just been through some crazy weather, right? So a little bit uh, intense rainfall. And um, <clears throat> a great example of our future, of what things are gonna look like more and more in the future, right? So, so one of the most, so I tend to not call it uh, global warming or climate change per se, I tend to call it global weirding because that's really what we're doing. We're, we're, we're making our world much different uh, than the way it has been for the last several thousands of years. Um, and so one of the ways that manifests is uh, drier dries and wetter wets. And so what we just saw the last uh, few days is a lot of wetter wets. And so for example, this is the other day, for example, um, uh, we're talking about, and this is in downtown LA, but, but half of the, the quote unquote average annual rainfall of L the LA basin fell in, you know, just over the weekend, basically. Now, um, as we'll talk about when we get to this, uh, average rainfall is, there's no such thing. Um, so we're, we are, <clears throat> the majority of our state is in a Mediterranean climate, which is always has wet years and has dry years. Very rarely do we have the quote average number. That's a mathematical construct. Um, so, uh, but nevertheless, it, it sort of serves to give us at least a, a sense of what the um, sort of expected amount of rainfall is. And to get, to get a large fraction of your rainfall in just a few hours or a few days, that leads to the problems that we saw. So when I was driving up uh, on Potrero yesterday, um, no rain, and it was just sheet water flowing across the road, right? And so that's why we're seeing that combined with the winds, why we're seeing all of the mudslides, et cetera, we've seen the last couple days. Um, and so it's not as if the, the lightning struck or the hurricane hit, it's more like the system just being stressed, 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 stressed. And then um, it's not as if someone built something incorrectly or something like that, it's just rather the system is not, was not designed to handle this, <clears throat> in the case of most recently, this amount of water this fast. So for example, we see things like this. Back to you. Well, thank you. 45 UC Santa Barbara students living in seaside apartment complexes in Isla Vista have been allowed to return home after a huge chunk of bluff collapsed. It happened yesterday morning along Del Playa Drive. The slide took part of a balcony with it. Four apartments were evacuated and no one was injured. Inspectors assessed the situation and allowed all of the students to return home a few hours later. Half of the um, patio on that left side actually fell and collapsed. Uh, the bluff underneath it collapsed into the uh, ocean, and that part uh, went with it. A fence has since been installed to block off access to the damaged patio. Fortunately, no injuries were reported. And this morning, crews are inspecting a stretch of a train track in San Clemente after our recent storm. More debris and mud expected to reach that hillside. Uh, and the tracks below the Mariposa Pedestrian and Bike Bridge, uh, the Orange County Transportation Authority, MetroLink, are scheduled to reassess the slope's movement today. The heavily traveled tracks have been closed since January 24th when the pedestrian walkway came loose and partially collapsed. That happened after the hillside above slipped during a previous storm. All the work that crews did to stabilize the hillside has been undone by heavy rain that uh, moved through Orange County this week. So that was uh, just an hour or so ago from the news. So um, obviously, right, so all those, those couple examples south of us, north of us, um, just highlight um, what's going on. Probably, these things, probably not quite disaster. These are probably more the emergency categories, right? But what's been going on is an emergency there, an emergency there, an emergency there, an emergency there. So when we add those up, they can amount to a disaster, right? If there's hundreds of events, let's say, around the, uh, the county or the region or whatever. But, but um, you know, a, an apartment complex stressed or a chunk of hillside coming down on a chunk of uh, the train tracks, um, we would call that an emergency. But, but um, this is, this is, going to be representative of the stuff we're going to see in the future.